This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of all of our backyard. With another episode of Sacred 2 in the last episode. We defeated a... We actually got to fight a dragon. And uh, he did some damage, but we were able to get past it by just pressing A a lot. It was epic. Now we need to... Uh, after doing that, now that we've got our scales, and actually we know we had our scales before, we were just beating it so we could help Blackhammer, so I guess we just need to head on to the next destination and see what we can do for Blackhammer. He said after beating him, we would be able to use like his uh, his secret uh, like secret passageway to get to the next location, I guess. I assume that's what happened. Sorry, when you take breaks in between recording sessions, sometimes I forget some all details. Like that. I, I think that's what it was. So. So we're gonna go do that, so get back to saving the world or however however it's supposed to go. I defend myself by pressing the A button a lot. It seems to work pretty well for the most part. Can't say for all occasions, but uh, It's funny how she says by Sophia even before we actually meet her in the game. I guess it just means Sophia, the matriarch or whatever you want to call her, is very important before then, even though we only have a line of dialogue with her and then that's it, so and it's like, alright, thanks for Sophia. Thank you so much. The outpost is situated in this direction. I'll go join Blackhammer now. Good right. luck on that your seemed, way. That seems like an unnecessary thing to voice, frankly. Like it was just a small line of dialogue, you could have just had it not voiced, but then again, the only thing voiced is the other than the random comments from like the main character you play as. It's only story stuff, so I guess it's fine. Alright. Do we have to go back now, or...? No, it looks like we have to go through the cave and just go in a different direction head off. So maybe we're finding another place to re release more slaves or whatever. Run. Run as fast as you can. Uh, Seraphim. Otherwise, they will die. It'll be bad for you. Bad for me. I guess I need to go straight, straight left. All right, not too. At least, at least now that I recognize the map difference for the underground section uh, as opposed to the top section, I at least have now have a better idea where. It seems pretty straightforward. I assume a lot of these side paths are for like treasure. I could probably go back and unlock another save thing there, or maybe we go through there and then go back this way, maybe, possibly. And we'll see what happens. Best just to like kind of ex ex go through the game and see what happens. You know, with all this lava and like redness here, I keep thinking that with the and the people I'm fighting, I keep thinking that like in a hell or something like that. I mean, that happens in a lot of a lot of games when you go to the like the end game. It's usually like I think they actually have a Diablo. I think you actually do go to like hell or something like that. I could have swear there was like a hack and slash game where one of the final levels of the game is hell or something like that. But I'll admit, I mean there's a lot of games that take you to hell at one point or another. Or Hithel if you want to be a bit more, you know, uh, a bit more uh, lower age. You know, in the name of Hithel. One of the more funnier censorships of a uh, 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 old age, or you know, early age, like anime that was shown for TV, or for kids stuff. Ah, the for kids stuff where don't or where uh, rice balls were called jelly donuts. You're like, what? That's not a jelly donut. What are you smoking? Even as a kid, I thought some of the just choices that they chose for like, like. I, I don't know if I knew what a rice ball was at the time, but I knew what a jelly donut was. And so when the game's like, dude, jelly donuts are awesome. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just uh, look up look up four kids. I think it's four kids. Maybe it wasn't four kids. Maybe it's one of them. But like early Pokemon uh, uh, dubbing. You know? I think it may have been four kids that did a... Uh, four kids did a lot of like early, early cartoon and anime dubbing. Uh, I wonder if they're still around. I th think they are, actually. I don't know what they do, though. How do I hit them? Oh, you're not hitting, man. Like, come on, dude. Alright. It gets annoying if you press the button a lot and then no damage occurs. You're like, ah, oh, come on. Well, but apparently rock elementals are big fans of throwing shit at me. 
Although, I guess, you know, it does come back to the earth, I guess. Uh, yeah, I just keep going south, it looks like. I don't know why I keep looking at my map. I keep, I keep thinking I'm gonna... I keep thinking I'm gonna screw up and, uh, and, uh, go wrong direction. I've done that before. Here. Yeah, see? Yeah, there's too much crap going on here. Get to activate my electricity ability. I can run or move faster. That's almost why I like the speed tactic better because it just speeds you up by just leveling it up, so it's automatic instead of a instead of having to uh, manually or have to remember to activate it. Then again, I'm not a I'm not a big. Uh, I haven't really played much in the way of MMOs. I bet in MMOs that's something you have to do all the time. You have to actually be aware of it. So if I was an MMO player, an active MMO player, I did play some... The only MMO I've really ever played before, or at least to, to an extent, was uh, was uh, Old Republic. Or Star Wars Knights... Or Star Wars The Old Republic. Which I haven't really played much since then. Mainly because the content's been really slow. And I think really, I think EA is eventually just gonna close that MMO down. So they keep saying they're they're gonna keep making major updates for it, but uh, I don't know about that. With EA, with EA owning Bioware and then like just putting everything on the cusp, you know, I think the only reason they're doing that is because because of the whole Disney allowing them to go forward with the license a bit further. So they're probably trying to keep it alive, you know, because of the movies being popular. But frankly, after you do the character. After you do the character story arcs, you pretty much... I mean, there's more content after that. There's a whole arc with, you know, different characters and stuff like that. But I kind of played it because I liked the... Each class had its own story arc. But after you finish them, uh, it goes into a generic... Well, I wouldn't say the story's generic. It goes into more of a all-inclusive arc where basically each class has, like, maybe some minor... I don't know why I'm running this way. I should probably go to like where the game tells me to for now and then maybe there's an exploration factor or something like that but uh um, but yeah it became an all-inclusive arc where all the where basically all the classes maybe will have some minor dialogue differences but overall it's the same for each one and that kind of uh and i know why they did that it's because it, it would take too much to program and to have writers do all these different versions of the same plot for all these characters to keep going on, but that's why I like the beginning of the game. I like the fact that each class had its own, uh, had its own unique arc and everything like that with all uh, with its own unique characters, but after a point, they... Okay, that one looks like it might be a... I mean, it has less low-end damage, but it has better high-end, but... Let's see, this one... Find, possibly find more valuables... Now it has poison damage. Hmm. I kind of like the defense and attack values that this weapon gives overall. So I think I'll, I think I'll keep my current weapon. I'm not gonna do, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Oops, energy gun. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd decided to build a, the, uh, advanced tech, seraphone just to see how it went, just so I could shoot laser guns and stuff like that. But oh well. Nope. 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 And looking by the shield, I doubt I want to equip that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Any better? Oh yeah, I was keeping the helmet because I wasn't sure if I want to keep that. Nope, not worth it. Nope. The only reason I'd want to wear some of the low end like clothing is because it's a lot more revealing. Hey, I'm a pig. I don't, I don't, I'm not, not going to hide it. No, I'm actually not. I don't, I don't, like, in real life, I don't, I don't give a crap about what people wear and don't wear, and I usually don't, st I usually, I do, don't stare at people who wear low-cut outfits. I might give the quick, like, whoa, you know, type of, type of thing, but I don't, I just, after, after the initial surprise, I just leave it alone. I'm like, eh, whatever, and I go on with my day. I'm not one of those people that just likes to stare or follow, which is creepy in its own right. Uh, okay, I'll sell these. Well, actually, I might, I might look into the rings, because some of them might have some stuff I might want to keep, so I'll leave those on for a bit. Uh, there. Ooh, we've got another pelting strikes, even though I haven't been using those. Uh, let's 
Let's get those really quick. Oh, and we have got quite a few, uh, quite a few artifacts. I'll have to see if I can run across a runesmith at some point. I haven't really had any good teleport back to old locations, but we'll get to that the eventually. Old dragon? Yes, he lives not too far from here. I wouldn't dare to visit him. He's a dangerous and sly creature. But I see you've got a heart scale. If you want, I can fashion an amulet of protection from it. Just give it to me. So wait, there's their hearts that are made from scale are scale light too? Okay, I guess that's why they're more durable than people. Well now we got I guess now we have an amulet, but oh, okay. I was like, can we actually equip it? Here you go. Wear it wisely, because if push comes to shove, this might save your life for a few more seconds anyway. I wish you good luck, stranger. Why do I Thank feel like I don't actually the trouble you went to? Aw, at least she's thankful. I bet you don't actually have to equip it, but I might as well check and see what it does. Might be worth keeping on, uh, let's see. Dragon scale amulet. What is the description of it? Oh, it reduces fire damage over time for fire, so which most dragons do, so that'd actually be worth it. Uh, you can only equip one, you can basically equip two rings and one pendant. What's my current pendant? I think I equipped it just because it has a defense value. So... Uh, let's see, this one has... Yeah, might as well. It has also gives you... An, it looks like it gives you an armor bonus, too. So, hey, yeah, I'll take that. Alright. Onward to the... Actually, where are we supposed to go now? Nope, oh, I guess... Back? Oh, there's a... Wait, there's a question... Oh, the question mark is somewhere... It might be back with the way I came. Well, no, maybe... Uh, well, we'll keep going this way for a bit. Uh, there's a blacksmith... This is actually one of the few sections where there's been long stretches of a. Uh, how do you get over there? Maybe this way. I want to kind of. It's been a while since we've actually had any new quests given to us. I wonder. If, then again, maybe it's because I've accidentally skipped some by, by not going through certain areas or some of like that. That's quite possible. So what are you? Look like one of those weird dragon cultists. Get us beer. The festival of sacrifice is near. It's the climax of the entire year. Everything has been prepared, except for, well, we had the virgin, so that's done. We'll get enough gold, too, but we still have no beer. I'm afraid that's, that settled dragons won't be happy if they don't get beer this time. And no dragons were a fan of beer, apparently there. Where are we supposed to get beer, though? On the merchants of voice because of the roaming dragons. Not long ago, an orc expedition was destroyed by dragons not far from here. All roaming dragons don't like beer. But orcs do. I suppose there might still be a few casks around. Could you take a look? I'd really appreciate Depend it. Depend on my help. Alright. Alright, creepy dude. Alright, what about you? Helga per meter. Per meter? Whatever. I've just been dear lie. Have you ever been there? I thought it was really breathtaking. Okay. Does that take us to the next location? Or? Although I should go back and check with the, uh, um, See, there's an, uh, well, I don't. I technically don't need the blacksmith. That's the, not the character I really need. But a roots. I would like a rune smith if there's one around here. But it doesn't seem like it. I'll have to decide if I do run across one at some point. Decide. Uh, oh, finally another. It's been a while since we've seen. It. You know, I just. <laughs> I think I just like a second ago mentioned how it's like. Oh, there's no. Uh, no good teleport spots back. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're gonna run into any. Uh, Smith around here, I think pretty much. Which is fine, I don't... Yeah, I can get rid of other things. I've been selling some of the excess equipment. Oh, no, there it is. All right. Now, how do we get there? Are we up this way, maybe? Or... I have to go back around. It doesn't look like the obvious way there. Now, I've noticed the Alchristy buff is lasting slightly longer than it usually does, so... Get over there, I guess. Oh, here we go. There's a. Didn't know so. Okay, now I can trade up for another another skill. This might be just a inventory episode, maybe. Don't you just love those? All right, let me look at my combat arts. Really, come on. There we go. Because I can basically transfer it to. Oh, 
That's right, I can't. Let me see. Come on. What? There we go. What? It was like, why aren't details working when I highlight the thing? Okay, let's see. If I get the next level in that one, it regenerates a bit quicker, which it already regenerates pretty quickly. That's my basic one where I attack multiple times. Uh, let's see. And it does a bit more damage, so that'd be worth it. Uh, it also has double chance for a double hit and reduce target's defenses when I use it, so there's that. Uh, that was level 2, maybe I should look at, let's see, what is that? Focus weapon attack directly against one target. See, that one's good against multiple units. That one's good for, like, single targets, but I haven't really been utilizing that. Let's see, assaulting, uh, I still haven't, I still haven't found that thing. I could buy one for that now. Serving excuse I need to leap towards the enemy, inflict any damage. Now let's see, dashing out Christy, if I got that to the next level. Uh, regeneration time, looks like it re increased by like 0.5 seconds. Uh, that's pretty much it, it doesn't look like anything, well, let's see. Uh, oops. Wait, what? I have to hold up? or Because it says... Yeah, it says, like it says use that, but then it doesn't stay on that screen, so I can't tell. Uh, looks like slightly improves resist to root spells, duration, increase it by 0.1 second. Uh, and speed goes up by 0.5, so it's not the biggest jump. Let's see, and then the battle stat, that one. Increases your regeneration time of all combat arts, which... What is Dashing Out Christie? Is it combat art? Probably not. I assume Soul Hammer, like Pelting Runes, and Somersault are all combat ones. But, let's see. Increases regeneration time by quite a bit, actually. Uh, the attack values and everything else don't really modify. It's just the regeneration of all your abilities. So, I do... Either you might do pelting strikes, maybe. Because I've upgraded that quite a bit to three. Uh, might do actually battle stance would probably be a good one. All right, let's uh let's trade these out. Let's trade these for five hundred. Nice. Okay, so. Yeah, battle stance was the one I wanted, so let's do that. Yeah, if you have four, it reduces the it reduces how much it costs by quite a bit. So. And if you only do one, it's like if I can show you, it's like seventy five thousand or something crazy amount, or one hundred twenty five thousand. I mean, I could afford it, but it's best not be best not be uh, touching that dragon, if you know what I mean. All right, we beefed up our, uh... Okay, get back. I think I missed the... Oops, I missed the spot to go down, but... Anyway, now my buffs will give me a slightly better uh, attack and defense rating, so... I wonder if I have to reset my... Uh, yeah, I might as well reset it while... Just in case. Because I know in some games you kind of need to... You have to reset your, your buffs because they don't automatically go, but I could be wrong. Each game is programmed differently. I just like to do the tried and true stuff just to make sure I didn't uh, uh, mess it up or whatever. Okay, so I need to go back this way. Uh, where's this location? Uh, this would take us out. Okay. Are we finally getting back above ground? Nope. Well, I mean, we're closer to above ground. Hey, where do you all appear from? Get over here, you. Like we're almost at another level too. I, will cut out your I might do pummeling strikes because I have noticed it it, it it goes pretty fast, but I could get to where it's almost instant. That would help me a lot better than just pressing A all the time. I could just press Y, uh, y all the time instead. So, but you get more attacks out of it. Okay, that guy's not doing anything. Mm 
Oh, there's the fear cast. I assume. Or somewhere around here, because it's highlighted. Oh, there it is. It's just... Get out of my way. But, um, oh, okay. Who's this? Squirt me to the beach. Ugh, my head. It feels like I drowned a five-fold skull buster. We were ambushed by two dragons. All the others were dead. I barely managed to take cover from by a rock. I don't remember anything after that. I want to leave. There's no place for orcs. There's nothing but brimstone and dragons here. Take me to the beach. I'll give you a magic Spare amulet. Are you gonna wear your, Are you going to wear your best one-piece outfit, or are you a two-piecer? Well, let's uh, let's go, Mr. Orc Man. Or Orc Lady. I assume it's an orc. I think it's an orc. You can kind of easily tell. You. Mostly. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Well, thank you for helping. Or he said something. I think he said, like, be orc or someone like that. Alright, hopefully this guy doesn't go too far ahead, because we're almost at the end of the episode time. How far is it till we get to the beach, though? Alright, well, we'll, we'll play a little bit more. Not too much more here. Oh, activate the ability. Sometimes I, have to, I swear I have to be standing in the, the right spot for my ability to start working. I wonder if it's because I keep getting hit by range, so it's like distracting the, uh, the, the um, animation or something like that, you know? At least you're not dying in like one hit, uh, or because uh, you know that would suck. And then having to, I mean, I've already lost a couple of quests because of that, so it's not, it's not that annoying. But you know, a little extra rewards or or armor or whatever you get. <laughs> okay, seriously, game. Back up. There we go. Oh, we gained a level two. All right. There we go. It's 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 a uh, it's missions like this. I really hate the fact that this game doesn't have a save like or have a a pause function. That's it. I mean, yeah, I could have I could have stopped moving. Maybe hopefully he would he wouldn't keep going that type of thing. But it's hard to it's hard to guess if he would do that. Or not. I'm still going. I need. We're gonna go over. If I could, I guess I could just... I need to get to the spot where he... Alright, well, I'm going to keep this... I'm going to try to keep this guy alive. So in the next episode of Sacred 2, we'll keep this orc alive, uh, get to the surface, and continue on with our awesome adventures. So tune in next time as we continue. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.